So in essence, when you look at these, like Xiaoyang, like uh, a Xiaoyang, Han Shuang, Xiaoyang, Foot Xiaoyang, San Jiao, Gallbladder, they're both lateral vessels. And what, what, what these relationships say, you know, Taiyang, Xiaoyang, Yang Mi, Taiyin, uh, Taiyin, Xiaoyin, Zhuiyin. And you look it, inside each of these statements, you have a foot and you have a hand. Well, the yangs are matched up and the yins are matched up. And they're matched up from the upper part of the body to the lower part of the body. So what does it say? It says that the inside of the arm treats the inside of the leg, the outside of the arm treats the outside of the leg, or the outside of the leg treats the outside of the arm, vice versa. That's all that it really says. The lateral side of the body, neurologically, will treat the lateral side of the leg. So from, from, from the upper, when you're looking at using the upper part of the body to treat the lower part of the body, you can use lateral, lateral, or medial, medial. That's, that's all it's saying. Okay? If you look at, um, well, I've, I've written it down here for you. So rather than belabor it, you can just look at that. I'll try to make it more simple because you can fill up with so much, much minutia that um, you kind of get confused. So I'll try to simplify it. So just think, lateral, upper, treats lateral, lower, and vice versa. Medial, upper, I'm talking about the arms and the legs. Medial, upper, treats medial, lower. So the vessels on the arms and the legs are related to one another, okay? Bob, can I cut in a little yeah, bit sure. here? I've listened to Bob's seminar many times on this, and I try to draw a, draw a diagram to make this even simpler. And Lily and I were just in the back drawing diagrams just now. Can I show you our diagram and see if yeah, it's correct? Be good. <laughs> okay, so. All right. So from what you're saying about the, the whole six systems, if the problem is on the yang side here, of the arm, you will treat. You can treat the yang side of the leg or the inside of the leg on the opposite, contralaterally, or on the opposite arm you treat the inside, and this way you treat the inside. Is that correct? It, yeah, it's correct. And um... so, take another example. My drawing is. Um, not like Jimmy's. Okay, so if you have a problem here on the in channel of the right right arm, you would treat this here and here, yin and yang, and then on this leg you would treat the yang, and on this arm you would treat the yang side. We broke this down every single channel, just back there just now, and it works for every single channel. So if this is the way, the only thing you have to memorize is this pattern. And then you have to know how to do the image correctly, right? Right. Then you don't really need to remember any channels whatsoever because the yang side Let's treats the inside. these up and stick them in the, in the seminar in, in the, the next time we do this because it's perfect. And then same thing for the leg. If you look at the leg. OK, problem on the liver channel, let's say, spleen or whichever, in channel, okay? And then so then you would first go to the opposite arm, which both the yin and yang side would treat. And then you would go to the opposite leg. If it's an in problem on the left leg, you treat the yang side of the right leg. And then you go to the other, the final limb. If this is an in problem, treat the yang side. Can you guys do me a favor when you go home today? Do this for all the channels. See if I'm correct, too. If it is, then it really then you don't have to memorize anything. It's even better. Same thing. We'll just do a yang problem here. Yang problem, stomach channel problem. Go to the opposite limb. You treat both the yin and yang. And if this is a yang problem, treat the yin here and then the yin here. And the reason why is the reason why you can, if let's say you have a yang problem on the upper arm, why, why you know, I, I've given you the reasons why you can, you choose the yang on the lower leg, but you can also treat the yin on the lower leg. And the reason is, is because of, 
let's say this is yang ming, or you know, large intestine, let's say here. Well, you can treat the stomach down here. So the large intestine is lateral, and the stomach is lateral. But remember yang ming jue yin? Remember that one? That's, that means han yang ming, large intestine, is treated by foot jue yin, liver. The liver is on the medial side. So there's always a lateral relationship and a medial relationship from the upper part of the body to the lower part of the body. There always is. So if you have, if you have pain on the upper limbs, you can treat both medial and lateral of the lower limbs, basically. You can. So the, but the, only, the only thing that's set in stone, pretty much, is that if you have problem on the lateral side of the arm and you want to treat the other arm, then you're going to go to the medial side. What does that mean? There's that, what's that, Bian Biao? Is that it? That if you, let's say, this, let's say the San Jiao hurts on this arm, you can treat the pericardium because they're paired. Pericardium and San Jiao are paired up. Lung and large intestine are paired. Heart and small intestine are paired. So if you have a problem on the heart here at the elbow, you can treat the small intestine on the opposite side. So you, if you've got a yin problem on one side of the body, you can treat the yang on the opposite side. So if you go from one side of the body to the other, it's a yin-yang relationship, medial lateral. Okay? But if you're going up and down, then you've, you actually can go either side. You can go medial or lateral, yin or yang. So you can use a yin, there are yin vessels and yang vessels that will treat a yang problem in the upper body. Okay? If it's a yin problem in the upper body, you can still, if it's, an, if it's a yin problem in the upper body, you can still use both yang and yin in the lower body. You can. Why? Well, let's say the problem is uh, pericardium on the upper arm at the elbow. That's hand way in, right? Well, hand way in is related to foot yang ming. So now foot yang ming is stomach, which is lateral. So you, you can choose. You can choose, if, if you have a problem on the medial side, where's the medial up here? Here, if you have a... Medial side on Yeah, if there's a medial problem here, this is drawn wrong. You can... You, the circle is the problem. Oh, the circle is the problem, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so if you have a problem on the medial side of the arm, you have choices. You can go to the medial side of the lower leg or the lateral side of the lower leg, opposite. If it's the same side, you probably want to go to the... Um, you know, to the lateral side. Uh, I will show you the exceptions, but quite frankly, what it comes down to is that you've got lots and lots of choices. You just have to stay within the, within the right area. If you stay within the right area, you'll get a result. In other words, if the image is correct. This is all in relationship to vessel relationships. But you can just look at your chart, quite frankly. Just look at your chart. You know where, you know, we have enough training to know that if someone has pain at the elbow, we can identify which vessel it is. We all have that training. Where does your arm hurt? Well, if they say here, you know, it's the large intestine, you can just look on your chart and it will tell you all the different choices you have to treat the large intestine. And what Tina laid out for you is basically a drawing of that chart. You have all these relationships. Okay? The key, the real secret, it's not so much that. The secret is how to image the body. Where on those vessels do you need to treat?